Chat, what else were we, were we trying to talk about before? Oh, QC versus Offset. Okay, so I didn't really cover this today, and I'm going to get into it a little bit tomorrow. So QC Offset. Um, <clears throat> let me find the latest article on it, which is today. Uh, essentially, yeah, okay, cool. This is a good article. So, let me sure I can see it. So, quality control, which is QC, they want the Offset lawsuit to be thrown out. If you don't know, Offset is suing QC, claiming, yo, I'm not in QC no more. Or, or no, well, my contract with the Migos is entitled to be released and owned by quality control. But if I go solo, I am not... Uh, I'm liable to have to, you know, give them my works, okay? Um, let's kind of read it here. <clears throat> let's see if we could probably put... Yeah, actually, let's read it from Radar Online, right? There we go. Radar Online is the official source. They says, Offset uh, x label Quality Control is fired back at his lawsuit demanding that it not receive a cut from a solo work. So that's pretty much what Offset's saying. Offset dropped a bunch of projects, or at least one project, by himself, he doesn't want QC to get any money from that. He's saying that this project um, shouldn't be uh, uh, in the deal that he signed with QC and that he only signed a QC for a group. Now, let me tell you how usually deals work in the industry, right? If someone signs Lil' Ack, <clears throat> right? They sign Lil' Ack um, as a solo artist. Now, if Lil' Ack, <clears throat> Blueface, and Christian Rock right all join together and create a group okay call you know what i mean you know uh, um, uh, um bacteria vagina <laughs> vaginosis right if we create a group call that that my regular solo deal doesn't apply to that group all three entities usually make a separate group now <clears throat> obviously collab albums has been happening for a while so usually uh labels will provision um, certain clauses that if you do join any type of group, they have the right to match or they have the right to whatever the case is. Um, because usually you're going to drop an album. Like for example, when Future drops an album with Juice World or he drops an album with Uzi, right? Whatever his label is, which I think is still Epic. They usually have a right to try to contend for that album, but it becomes complicated because Uzi is a artist on Atlantic. So usually what happens there, you got to almost establish new deals, right? So usually, However you get signed, there is a possibility that if you join a group or if you're already in a group when you got signed, you going solo is a different thing. I'll give you an example. With um, Ray Shremard, there's a Ray Shremard contract, and I guarantee there is a Sway Lee contract, right? Because if Sway Lee drops a song by himself and it doesn't say or title or credit um, Ray Shremard, it is completely different than the other um, uh, um, works that he does as Ray Shremard. So... What's happening here? Offset decided that he, you know, he's not seen eye to eye with Amigos. Um, from what I hear, honestly, between me and y'all, it's not that he wasn't seen eye to eye with his brothers. His vision for what QC uh, was going to help his career do wasn't the same. So basically, you know, Takeoff and Quavo, they were like, nah, we, we feel good here at QC. Offset said, nah, like, Look how shit is going. We're not prioritized no more. They dropped a whole album. They didn't even go on tour. Remember Culture 2 dropped? It was a, no, Culture 3 dropped. Everybody was like, yeah, Migos are back. They didn't even do a tour. You know what I mean? They are basically like, you know, this is what QC been doing. Hey, well, where's the next little Baby single, right? So after you've helped build the label and you realize they're focusing on other people, you can imagine people are a little bit like maybe feeling like the ship is sell. Um... Offset clearly, you know, wasn't feeling it a little bit. Quavo take off. They're playing ball. Also, they kind of realize a few things. The lawyer that kind of negotiated the deal, supposedly that person was double dipping, was probably also working for um, quality control. And essentially after, you know, remember all three of them did solo projects, Offset basically said, listen, guys, we could either try to like really break free of this shit or fuck it, man. Like, man, if y'all ain't going to come with me, I'm going to just do my solo thing. You know, that's what I heard allegedly happened. So Offset is trying to do a solo thing, but supposedly in his mind, his deal isn't affected by quality control, right? 
However, quality control has basically um, filed a motion or actually they approached the courts to say, let Offset know if he drops even a solo album, we still get paid because we had prior documentation from when they all did solo albums. Um, yeah, so Offset filed a, 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 he filed a lawsuit to kind of get that thrown out. Now, Quality Control has submitted another motion to say, hey, um, hold on. Okay, Quality Control has fired back to say that um, Offset's lawsuit should be dismissed, basically meaning that whatever Offset drops, QC is going to eat off of, okay? It says QC argued, right here. And this is why they're saying the lawsuit should be dropped. They said, having continued to accept the benefits of working with capital, right? After the defendant assigned to, uh, assigned to offset is rights under the offset, blah, 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 in connection with the production of blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm trying to help you understand. 100% of the copyrights in the recordings made by offset as work for hire for capital are automatically assigned by capital to quality control. Okay, so essentially offset he's recording music for the bigger label, which is capital. And basically QC saying, even if you think you're leaving the group and you're recording for, for capital, they're going to automatically assign all your copyrights to us because we have you under another deal, which is a bigger deal, which is for the Migos. Okay. So plaintiffs are stopped from taking a position in this action that they're the owner of such recording rather than capital or it's a signee quality control okay so essentially they're saying that um offset cannot take the position that he owns his own music even recording that solo because as long as those songs drop under capital capital is going to assign those songs to its subsidiary in some sense even though it's a partner quality control as radar online reported first offset sued his label after they demanded a cut so they want to cut off anything he does solo right in his lawsuit, Cardi B's husband, I hate when they call him Cardi B's husband, it's like they're trying to disrespect him, described himself as intentionally, oh my bad, as intentionally, uh, uh, as in, yo, Jesus Christ, yo, Radar Online, y'all got to like fucking, like y'all be having some good info, but you have to fucking like get like a spell checker. You mean, first of all, you're trying to diss him. Cardi B's husband describes himself as a, you mean international, not intentionally internationally acclaimed hip-hop artist and a rap artist who has achieved worldwide commercial success and critical success not only as a member of the hip-hop group Migos but as a solo artist okay in his petition Offset says now for a decade quality control career, control his career as a recording artist and a songwriter he says quality control also uh, collected a sizable portion of all the money that Offset made through his ingenuity and hard work the lawsuit said that Offset signed his first deal with QC in 2013. The agreement provided the label with full control and 50% of his profits. Hmm. We need to know more about that deal. Because this doesn't sound bad. When you sign to a label, usually they don't even give you 50%. This sounds like what people would normally call a partnership. Usually people are in full on record deals, which you get just royalty rates and um, where well, you get a split on a royalty, which usually is up to 18 to 20 percent. Uh, OK, when it came to the under uh, when he came to understand the full ramification of the deal, he entered into Offset set out to regain control of his solo career. Right. Notwithstanding quality controls overreach deal with Migos as a group, which remains in place. So essentially, he's saying that he's not contesting anything to do with quality controls um, deal with the Migos, but he's con he's contesting his individual deal. Offset said he negotiated a settlement with QC in January 21, which allowed him to reclaim the rights to his solo recording and songwriting from QC. And he said he paid handsomely for those rights. This has been word in the industry uh, that Offset paid um, um, hold on. Uh, this is where in the industry that Offset had to pay P from QC a couple of million dollars to own the, the right to release music as a solo artist, right? 
So he thinks he paid for it. But it says after his deal with QC, Offset said he released a single called 54321, which QC attempted to claim ownership in. You can imagine why Offset is upset because he's like, yo, he paid a couple million for his solo career or, or to, you know, get out of any type of solo obligation he had with QC. But when he dropped the song, they tried to claim ownership of it. Offset was said that this barred him from claiming such ownership and demanded the court to step in. Offset now brings his action to vindicate his rights and make it clear that to the world that Offset is not quality control. Um, uh, that Offset, not quality control, owns Offset Music, the suit read. In their response, QC said, because Offset is not the owner of the recordings that, he's, that he has made or continues to make with Motown, on or after January 15, 2021, including the recordings that blah, 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 he lacks standing to bring this action further. QC says that Offset has breached the confidentiality provision in their original settlement agreement by disclosing the terms of the settlement agreement in the complaint and in social media posts and by sharing the settlement agreement with various Universal Music Group executives. The label wants Offset entire lawsuit thrown out. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain this in like, you know, uh, layman's terms, okay? Um, I'm so let me make some stuff up. This is all fabrication. I don't know nothing. I don't hear nothing through the grapevine, but let's say this. So when Quavo, Offset and Takeoff released solo albums, they signed solo deals with QC. QC is under capital. So you have UMG, Capital, Motown slash QC right here. Okay. So Motown slash QC is right here, Capital right here, UMG right here, okay? The Migos are signed under Motown slash QC, okay? So is Yachty, so is Lil Baby, and everybody else. You go one step above that, that's Capital. Now, what usually is happening, by the way, people believe this is going to be the case, what happens to Gunna. For example, if Gunna is being accused of telling on YSL, but he's going to have a career. He's signed to YSL. There's no possible way they will have his best interest at heart, him dropping music on their YSL. What people do believe is going to happen, for example, with Gunna, is that Gunna is going to have to fall back, probably have to do some legal action, and probably come to an agreement, which is probably going to be facilitated by Warner Music Entertainment. <clears throat> I should know Warner Music Group, I mean. Warner Music Group, because Warner Music Group owns 300. 300 has a deal in place or 300 owns YSL, okay? And he folds up on the YSL. So if niggas think you snitched on YSL, they're not gonna just let you walk to another company. What's probably gonna happen is um, 300 Entertainment or maybe even Warner Music Group is gonna say, Gunna, we're gonna take you from YSL and we're gonna put you over here that you could drop music still for the company, but it'll be like some type of buyout. They might, they'll work something out with 300 and Thug to make sure they're they're fully, you know, made whole, but gonna, it wouldn't be in his best interest to keep dropping under YSL, right? Um, from what I'm hearing now, it's most likely that gonna will end up at Atlantic Records. Atlantic Records is a subsidiary of Warner Music Group, and it's probably the most popping label um, on for for hip hop actually, uh, for Warner Music Group. So since Warner Music Group bought out 300 Entertainment, if you don't know, you we could Google that real quick. Um, it's most likely that YSL that's under 300, and Gunna that's under YSL, Gunna will get free of YSL, free of 300. Warner is gonna take him, move him over to the right, put him on on um, uh, Atlantic. And that's probably how his career is going to continue. Okay. This happens all the time. If you listen to what, ha <coughs> what happened with Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne got taken off of cash money. His deal with Republic. Um, I think Republic still does certain stuff for him, but universal basically just shifted him over. He just ain't on, you know, after that whole thing about the money with Birdman, they took him off of there. Okay. Um, these things happen.
So what do I think is going to happen with Offset? Offset has made it clear that he's not seen eye to eye with QC, which means he's not seen eye to eye with Coach KMP. Okay? Now, he might be cool with these individuals. Like, personally, I don't know their relationship, but clearly, business-wise, he don't agree with them. Okay? Clearly, business-wise, Quavo and rest in peace to take off. Um, who knows what they personally felt, but they weren't opposing um, situations as Offset was. Offset supposedly is a lead in the in, in all of this stuff in trying to point out that something here isn't, you know, isn't right. Like, you know, um, the Migos isn't being benefited by being on QC and QC isn't working it to the best of their ability. Now, it could be complicated by a bunch of things. There was rumor to fight or rumor some issues between Offset and Lil Baby. Who knows if that's true? You could speculate. Google, do what you want to do. But if you were in an argument with someone who's now the MVP, like if your biggest op is the biggest priority at the company, you're probably not going to get treated the best when he got all the leverage. You get what I mean? So maybe that's one of the things that has, you know, influenced that. By the way, we could see, if you don't know, there's a there's a management um, 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 arm to QC, it's called Solid Foundation. Drake rapped about it. Like it's, it's well known. Trippy Red was signed to it at one point. I don't believe Trippy's no longer signed to it. But infamously, they had Cardi B. Cardi B was signed to Solid Foundation, right? Um, Cardi B has left Solid Foundation, and essentially, she is backing up her husband, which her husband has clear gripes with QC. So it appears that this is a stalemate. Offset is saying, hey, if Migos, and, and, and this is what I believe was probably going to happen. You know, obviously, it's heated tempers. Who knows what's happening behind the scenes? It's a possibility that Offset probably never planned to ever record music again as, as Migos, okay? So he probably never planned to record music as Migos. He even stopped performing as the Migos. You can't book him for a performance as the Migos, right? This is before Takeoff died. He was focusing on solo work, but he was in a deal, a separate deal from the Migos deal with QC. From what I understand, there was a conversation had. P or Coach K or whoever who makes those decisions says, give me X amount of millions and you, you as a solo artist could be a free artist. You're buying yourself out of your contract. From what's understood to me, Offset purchased his solo career contract and he was supposed to be a free agent now once he tried to drop something qc still came back around and it looks like qc might be trying to use a loophole so the loophole is well yeah you bought your contract out but you're still recording under our umbrella label which is capital and capital has a understanding with us that anytime anybody who we sign has any recordings out their copyrights get assigned to the subsidiary label which is us so anytime you record we still own your copyrights and that's why offset wants the judge to step in qc saying no like this is just how it goes um it's probably some pettiness that's going on in between that and such is a case where it feels like it's offset versus qc do you know what I mean? If you ask me, um, if Offset did pay for the rights to his his music career or his he purchased the contract for him as a solo artist, let that man be, bro. Let him be. And also, here's the thing, too. I think QC got to have a gut check moment. If this is true, and if anybody of the, of the Migos believe that they are not being prioritized and that you're focusing solely on little baby and they feel like if they weren't on QC, they could possibly be better off. Don't keep nobody who don't want to be there. Let them niggas go. And maybe if it ain't, you know, rest in peace to take off. If it's only one person, let that nigga go. Don't fight him in court. Let him go. Granted, you still, he can't do any group. Well, mm, yeah, he probably can't do any group stuff. And I, yeah, he definitely can't do any group stuff because he got signed as a group. But his solo career, if he paid you a couple million for it, let him go. 
Now, I don't know P side of this, right? And everything everything I've heard, not from off, Offset, of course, <clears throat> but everything I've heard through the grapevine basically just shows somebody who's kind of frustrated with the fact that P and QC might be focusing overly on Lil Baby. He's a new worker horse. And when you have a new thoroughbred, you run him into the ground. And the ones who are a little bit older, you kind of look at him and be like, it is what it is. Get what I mean? Okay. How do I think this is going to uh, um, eventually uh, happen? It's two, th two ways. Offset stays on QC, but he gets a big check, which means he gets payback back the money he paid them and probably some additional money. Keep in mind, uh, you know, and I hate to bring this into existence and into play, but keep in mind, Takeoff is now deceased, which now means there can't be even a quasi-migo situation without Offset, Right? You can't throw one nigga out on stage and be like, hey, Migos. You know, at least if it was two out of three, you'd be like, oh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, we were still be like, oh, uh, like, I know people were saying like, oh, Quavo won't take off, right? But like, people were like, oh, that's two thirds of the Migos, right? Offset, you know, by nature, and I'm not saying he, obviously he's hurting from his brother, you know, losing his life, but Offset kind of has a little bit more chips and a little bit more leverage at this point. Migos can't make no money without Offset now because you can't throw out one person out there. Can't do it. You just can't do it. You remember, in take, uh, on, on Bad and Bougie, infamously, Takeoff ain't on it. It didn't say Quavo and Offset and Uzi. It said Migos featuring Uzi. So when it's two of them, you could be like group. You just can't put Quavo by himself and say Migos. So now I could imagine that Offset is thinking about this and saying, well, you know, of course, rest in peace to take off, but these niggas got to play ball now. Or else you won't make no more money in the future off the Migos. So I think this lawsuit is going to be important. It, it seems like there's some probably hurt feelings here. I think Offset is probably going to negotiate that even if he's going to do a last project, you know, they probably got some more stems from, um, like, you know, takeoff and shit like that. I'm pretty sure he's going to say for him to do that, he got to get his career back. Uh, he got to get full control of um, his solo career, which that's going to be some interesting negotiations. Unfortunately, this is all business at the end of the day. Get what I mean? All right.